Hey hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today we're actually playing on a modded survival series with a bunch of friends, uh, Golden Lamb and the Silver Leaf crew have decided to finally do a modded uh, survival series. So, the way that this is going to work is we're actually on team. So if we just uh, back up here, we are on the same team, uh, not with Tobias, I don't know who that guy is, but we're all with Golden and Darkest and myself. So the way this works, uh, we don't actually have to do much with them if we, you know, can't, but we're all supposed to work together uh, in the same little corner. So I believe they've already started and made this, which looks pretty cool. But anyway, so yeah, the, the goal is, so there's gonna be a bunch of little mini games, I think. And uh, the goal is to get as many points for your team as possible and we get points depending on different uh, items that we get around the world and with different mini games and quests that we do for our team so I thought to start off we would actually just uh, get a little house built of our own so I think that's what we're going to work on today okay so I'm not actually sure if this is supposed to be the team base or what or if uh, this is actually Golden's place or anything uh, these little mini bots are amazing I love it I want that cake. Can I eat the cake? Is that a thing I can do? Uh, oh, it's a rack. Wait. Wait. I'm so confused. Is it... Can we decorate it? Is that how that... Comes if I put the... Oh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like this mod pack. I like it a lot. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is actually make a help. So I'm going to go off... Um, probably going to start with it off camera there's no replay mod or anything like this we're going to have to do uh, time lapses and stuff the old-fashioned way but uh, yeah so I'm going to go and try and figure out where I want to build my house so I guess I'll catch you guys back once I figure that out okay so after I did some mining I got some pretty cool stuff like some copper got full copper gear which isn't honestly the best I don't think iron's probably better but it gives me extra couple hearts down here which is pretty good um, I also got some food and whatever and uh, some zinc and I don't know what that is some tin half this stuff I don't even really know what it does or what it's for but we will figure that out this is the beauty of a mod pack but anyways I found this little area here I think I'm going to carve out or uh, cut down a couple of these trees, but I really want my house just over here. I'm not too far away from spawn. Spawn's just on the other side of this little hill. And yeah, I think this is where I'm going to set up shop. So, I think, I think what I'm going to do is quickly chop down these trees and then build a little platform here uh, so that I can start building my house. And there we go. All the trees removed that I wanted. We'll replant some later, of course, but I just want to get an area where I can build the house. So I think I'm going to terraform this a little bit more flatter. And uh, yeah, then start working on the house. So it kept on getting so dark in here. I thought it was turning nighttime. I'm looking around and wondering why when I click my bed, it won't turn, like, let me sleep. And then I look up and it's an eclipse. Which is kind of cool, I didn't expect that. Alright, so this is what I got so far. This is our little cabin, or our lodge, or whatever you want to call it. Our cottage. And, uh, yeah, so, let's take a little bit of a peek inside. Okay, so once you come up, you get to go up these stairs, which I thought was kind of a cool of idea. Uh, winds up. I was going to put a big uh, redwood tree here as well, but I found out that uh, you actually need to put it on grass. Now, because they don't have silk touch, I can't actually put it there quite yet, but that's definitely a goal. I was going to put one there, and then maybe one in the back corner over here, just to hide the fact that I cut into the mountain. I'm going to have to terraform a little bit of this, but uh, yeah. So, uh, this I was thinking about Antler Acres or something like that, it would be the name of this cottage. Not quite sure, haven't really picked up the name, but anyways, we have our two little... Uh, chairs here and then you go in uh, I haven't figured out like I haven't done any interior decorating as you guys can see other than the floor uh, but I did uh, play around with some ideas for the ceiling and I'm thinking about putting a bunch of let's just see if I can find it smithing tables on the bottom side like 
this, and then we have that nice red looking tile going all the way across. I haven't decided yet, but I definitely can't leave it the way it is, because it looks terrible. Uh, so, mm, I'm going to have to play around with a few more ideas with that. But yeah, anyways, uh, I like the floor. I think I'm going to keep the floor. Um, definitely going to have to make a bit of a kitchen, an upstairs area, a bedroom, and everything. So yeah, that's what I got so far. So of course we added the antler at the top here. We have some different colored chairs, or some different style of chairs. I thought these looked a lot better than just the uh, the stairs with the signs on them. Uh, a little more elegant, a little more lifelike. I really like it. Uh, we also added some logs here. Uh, I just realized this one actually had kind of a face on it. But yeah, so some uh, rotting logs here. I thought that we'd put them there maybe just as firewood, uh, kindling or something like that. Um, if we go over here, I actually added uh, some saws. Kind of like a little workshop. This is definitely a work in progress because uh, there's a few things I want to make, but I can't actually make them yet. I just don't have the resources and I don't have the time uh, to go out and get them quite yet. But I will definitely keep working on this little area. I just thought it was cute. And in fact, there was one more thing I was going to add and I forgot. And it was that. Just add a little bit of a light in here to light up the area when it gets a little bit darker out. Or if there's another eclipse. That was really weird. I haven't seen another one since. But that was quite interesting. Okay, so as for the inside, we also have uh, this fireplace here. Uh, which I said it was going to put here. Uh, I didn't put it on this wall because... That wall is kind of hidden from the outside. On this side, though, uh, as you can tell, and as I've shown you guys in the past, it just doesn't look great without something here, which is also why I put the logs here. But I thought it's a pretty good spot regardless on the inside. kind of breaks up this area a little bit more. Um, it might have actually been easier to decorate this wall other than this wall. This wall is very difficult because it's not like I could put something tall like a wardrobe here um, because it's... Uh, just one center so I'm kind of wondering what I should do here maybe I can add kind of like a basement going down or uh, maybe I can make it go into the mountain I'm, I'm still trying to play around with some ideas as to what to do here with that but yeah other than this the only thing I don't like about this section is this one wooden log because this is all slabs so that we can work around here I just wish I built the house one taller on this side because uh, if you come up here, it's not a lot of room to really do much with. But yeah, anyways, we have our bed, we have our couple cupboards here, our nightstand and our dresser. And I'm going to be putting all, all my gear up there. Uh, this I just put here as temporary storage, which I haven't even used yet. But this is our kitchen. Uh, I'm going to put one more piece so that this is a little bit more of a wraparound. And then this is all just temporary storage until I figure out uh, a storage room, which might actually be a good spot for it down there uh, maybe we can make an automatic one somehow uh, also I'm actually quite happy with these but these uh, chandeliers look pretty awesome as well I thought and I thought they kind of fit kind of like the cottage vibe going on kind of like older style cottage uh, of course we had the lanterns everywhere and they look pretty cool and then I also added this little door here now I'm not sure if this was here before but yeah, it's, uh, I thought this looked kind of cute. So we have two entrances. This is just easier because uh, I go over in this direction to mine anyways. I'm just getting kind of annoyed having to go all the way around. But yeah, there's that too. So I think the next thing, uh, I'm going to have to do a ton of off-camera mining so that we can get our tree here. Uh, but we need silk touch for that. Um, and yeah, I guess I can start working on an enchanting room and uh, of course our uh, storage room and everything but I think this is going to be it for right now and yeah I just ran out of time this week and it's been quite busy but anyways you guys I want to thank you guys all for watching I hope you guys like my big hat <laughs> I forgot I had this on oh it's so funny oh that is awesome anyways you guys I hope you guys all enjoyed if you did please hit that like button and be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys all in the next episode of Silver Quest SMP. Thanks, guys. Ciao for now.